Welcome to Psychologies TV. I'm Polly Downs, Barefoot Coach and creator of the How to Have More Honest Relationships coaching programme. In this short coaching video, you will learn how to be more honest in your personal relationships. This is week two of my coaching programme and you can access the other three videos by subscribing to Psychologies magazine to access the full course, which includes weekly journal workbooks for more in-depth coaching. You can subscribe via the link in this video's caption. And if you're already a subscriber, head to the Life Leap Club on the Psychologies website and register or sign in. So this week's focus is around being honest in your personal life. Whilst it's fairly common knowledge that good relationships are based on honesty, the reality is that many of us are not completely honest in our relationships. We hold back our honest feelings in order to protect others, to hide shame, to avoid arguments, just to seem nice. But this isn't honest and repressing the truth leads to unhappiness in the long run. Often it takes a lot of courage to be completely honest in our personal lives. But what if you could find the courage to be honest with your partner and then they reveal that they're also feeling the same way? or that they suspected how you were feeling, but they've been too scared to, to broach a subject because they felt as awkward as you have. Now that week one has given you a better idea of who you are, how can you incorporate more honesty into your personal life? Are you being fair to yourself? Can you treat yourself as well as you treat other people? We often treat other people far better than we would ever treat ourselves. A good exercise is to look at your friendships, your romantic relationships and your relationships with your family. Which of these relationships give you energy and which of them leave you feeling depleted? When you can identify which relationships allow you to feel more yourself and more energised, you can start to focus on investing more time in these relationships. If you find that a significant relationship, such as your partner, is having a draining effect on you, it's important to look into why and where you can make changes to prevent these feelings. What is it that's stopping you from having honest conversations about this? And what could be the benefit of telling the truth? A few years ago, my sister introduced me to the concept of what she called radiators and drainers. You can also think of them as people who charge your batteries and people who drain your batteries. This has really helped me to take a step back in my relationships and observe where they're positive and where they're not. Radiators are the people in your life who fill you with energy. When you leave their company, you feel energized and happy. In contrast, the draining, draining ones sap you of your positive energy. They tend to be more negative, feel more sorry for themselves. This week's workbook looks at your relationships and how being honest with yourself about them, you can get more energy from them. By being honest with yourself about relationships, you can start to have more genuine relationships, which lead to feelings of fulfillment and increase your sense of self. You can also decide whether, which relationships are important to maintain and which ones may be less healthy for you. I hope it's useful. <laughs>